What's poppin' fellow nerds? Today we got something a little bit different. We actually have 10 uh, blister packs that we're gonna be opening um, of the 1.0 set. Um, I'm kinda curious what the pull rates on individual uh, blister packs are, so I'm just gonna do an opening on these, um, so let's get into it. To start off, we're gonna open this blister since this is my favorite artwork in this set. All right, um, that was harder than it uh, should have been. Um, as always, uh, we do have our hunting list on the side and bottom of the screen. Those are the cards that we are looking for. Anything that's grayed out, we have not pulled yet. Anything in color, uh, we have pulled at least once. Most of them uh, just once. All right, I had to resort to scissors on this one. Uh, whatever that is, Gorillamon, Atomic Ray, Leomon, Numamon, Ogremon, Heat Viper, whatever that is, Tentamon, Beomon, and for our first rare, Karamon, and Joe Keto for our second rare. Uh, these blisters are difficult to get into, I will say that. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have opened any blisters, but if you have, let me know down in the comments if they were uh, simple to get into or not. Alright, uh, second pack, Volcanic Dramon, Great Tornado, Pumpkinmon, Armadillomon, Metal Greymon, Kabuterimon, Leolmon, Back for Revenge, Mega Kabuterimon, Saber Leomon, and for our first rare, Matt Ishida, and Ikakumon for our second rare. So since there are guaranteed hits in uh, booster boxes, um, it's probably uh, recommended that you just buy sealed boxes. But I couldn't help myself, I was curious what the pull rates would have been on just loose packs. Figured we would try it out at least for one video. Oblivion Bird, Agumon Expert, Gabumon, Leomon, Teperamon, Freemon, and for our first rare, War Growlmon, and Tai. Black Tai. I think I may need some of those because I do intend on building Black. And I'm sure he's going to be one of my tamers. Alright, and for our fourth pack. I wish that meant something. Okuomon, Dolphmon, Smash Potatoes, favorite card, Elecmon, Pagomon, Wizardmon, Leomon, whatever that is, Demi Devamon, Growlmon, and for our first rare, Izzy, and Metal Garurumon for our first super hit of the pack opening. I think this might be an alternate art. I'm not 100%, but I'm I think this is an alternate art. It's either an alternate art or like a different... Either way, it's a different version than the one we've been pulling, I'm pretty sure. So, it's not an alternate art. It's a different different metal Garurumon in the 1.0 set than the one we've been pulling. Alright, fifth pack. Pumpkinmon, Vegemon, Nuclear Laser, whatever that is, whatever that is. Vilemon, Vinova Blast, Megadramon, Woodmon, Darkness Claw... Lilymon for our first rare, and Metal Seedramon for our second rare. By the way, I highly recommend using scissors to get into these. Uh, ooh, I think we got a hit. I think I see some shiny cardboard. Dark Tyrannomon, Gravity Crush, Gomamon, Sukamon, Forbidden Temptation, Garurumon, Gatsumon, Labramon, Garurumon again, and for our first rare, Flower Cannon, good rare, and... Diaboromon for our super, second super of the pack opening. So that was a very good pack. That was a very good rare and then a super that's also a pretty good card. Alright. Heat Viper, Leomon, Hearts Attack, Wizardmon, Okuamon, Tyranomon, Spiral Sword, Metal Greymon, Titamon, Freemon, Kari for our first rare. That's a pretty good rare. And Yokomon for our second rare. And for our eighth pack, what are we gonna have? Gomamon, Tyranomon, Golden Ripper, Kudamon, Empmon, Digitamamon, Greymon, Gatsumon, Wanyamon, Hyandromon, and for our first rare, the Jamaican Digimon Yamon, and Patamon for our second rare. You know, I think I know why they call these blister packs. It's because you will give yourself blisters trying to open them by hand. Frigimon, Night Raid, Andromon, Blast Fire, Chumon, Metal Greymon. I think I see shiny cardboard. Boring Storm, 
Woodmon, Loader Leomon, Boltmon, and Ikakumon for our first rare, and War Greymon for our, what is that, third super of the pack opening? This is actually the good one or the one we want. It's the uh, War Greymon Black. Um, he is a black card. Not to be confused with Black War Greymon. And for our 10th and final pack of this pack opening, I think it might be shiny, but it's kind of hard to tell. Spiral Sword, Metal Tyranomon, Monodramon, Great Tornado, Repamon, Flarizamon, uh, Flarizamon, Gravity Crush, Groundramon, Petermon, Saber Leomon, and for our first rear, Yokomon, and oh my god! <laughs> Alternate Art Beelzemon. Wow. Knock that one off the list, boys. Well, um... I... I can't believe that was our last pack. Um... Alright, I'll see you guys in just a second for our, uh, pool recap. Alright guys, welcome back to the pool recap. Um, as always, we got a fat stack of rares. Even, even from 10 packs, um, you so I mean, it's, it's two rares per pack. Plus, um, if you get a super, it takes away a rare, but you still end up with lots of rares. And for our supers, uh, we have Metal Guru Ramon, which I'm fairly certain uh, we have not pulled yet. I think we pulled the other one. Diaboramon, which is always a good pull. Uh, then we have our War Greymon Black, uh, which I think we only have one of so far, besides the alternate art. So, always good to get another one of those. And last, but certainly not least, we have alternate art Beelzemon. Um, I was going to end up saying it's probably better to buy sealed uh, boxes if you can find them for a reasonable price uh, just due to the guaranteed hits but out of 10 packs um, we certainly got our money's worth. Uh, this card alone is worth more than what we paid for these packs um, so everything else is just gravy um, but if if you can find these at MSRP, which I think is $4, um, I, th I think uh, blister packs are definitely uh, of value right now. Um, but let me know what you guys uh, think down in the comments below as far as the value of blister packs and what you'd be willing to pay for them. Um, I know that these go for like $12 plus dollars online per pack. Um, but yeah, if you can find them at your local Target or local game store for $4, it's definitely worth picking some up. Um, but yeah, very happy. We, I'm honestly, I didn't go into this expecting anything because I mean, it's not a sealed box. So there's no guaranteed pull ratio, but knocking another card off our list, considering everything left is an alternate art card on our 1.0 uh, side of the hunting list is very awesome. I'm very happy with our pulls today, but I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.